Now for the sport of instant surfing, all you need is a boat, an inboard, an outboard, about, oh, 12 to 15 feet of rope, like a, a ski rope, and a, a board, a surfing board. And what you do is get behind, lie down, have the rope in your hand, get the boat up to between 9 and 10 miles an hour, then you bring yourself up, and when, the, when you're on the wake, you just throw the rope away, and you surf as long as you have gasoline. And that's why they call it instant surfing. I'd like to show you what I mean, I hope. And as the boat starts up, you automatically start coming over that stern wave. The pull's not bad. You're only going to position about here, up to your knees slowly. Left foot first, in the middle of the board as much as possible. Whoops, there we are. And then when you feel no tension on the rope, just let go. And by golly, you're instant surfing. And you move around a little bit. Because the board is built, the bottom of it is built like a rocker. When you go back, it slows down. When you come forward, it speeds up. That's not the greatest form in the world by a long shot, but at least I'm up and surfing. For a bit, that is. Well, that shows you what it's like when a hacker instant surfs. But here comes somebody who's real good, Dick Scottett. Let's watch him. Dick here is from Long Beach, California, veteran of ocean surfing on the big Pacific rollers. He's all set. And the company's ready. Up he goes to his knees. Left foot first. There we are. Okay, Dick, you bet. You can see his form is considerably better than mine. How light he is on his feet on the board. Up forward to get up speed. Back he goes to slow the board down. More speed and back again. Notice how his feet are right in the middle of the board. Facing into the wave. And as you can see, you don't need a very big boat either. Look how close you are behind it, but you never hit it. Here's something tricky, gets up speed and cuts across to the other side of the wake. Come on back, Dick. Little speed. Leans and over he comes. And you can surf, as I say, if you run out of gasoline or run out of lake, one or the other. A little tricky here, some fancy footwork. That's only the beginning. You can do a lot more with instant surfing. Here's three on one side of the wake. And two on the other side. Girls can learn easily too. And if they can't learn, well, take them along on the board with you. No problem for the younger set either. But instant surfing can be very difficult, too. Here's a doubles routine performed by Dick Scotter and Betty Osborne. Up comes Betty. The roll up. And go 
going into a handstand. The roll up position again. And back down to the board. Here's a standing lift to a forward swan and a back swan. Down to the shoulder once again. And this, as they're doing it, is called a bridge. A lot of balance, a lot of strength and coordination. Shoulder position once again. To a forward stand. And now a complete free stand. To a one-legged swan. Now there's instant surfing at its best, as performed by Dick Scotter and Betty Osborne. This is tough, but just learning as I did, it's pretty simple. 